Shall we begin? of the Hitchin Cobble Classic. Let's begin now. This is an exceptional bike. <laughs> it is unbelievably light. I'm going to guess it's about seven kilos. And uh, it just feels so light. The pickup is instant. As soon as you drop a little wattage bazooka, you're just getting 100% of that out of the frame. No doubt about it. Wheel set, super smooth, MBs, what you'd expect really. But, uh, the thing that's amazing is just the seated climbing. Seated climbing, best bike I've ever ridden, no doubt. It is unbelievable. It's just it's a super fast bike, super fast. So let's have a closer look at this bad boy. Okay, so here we go. I know it's too dark, but Look at the welds. There's no way you wouldn't know that wasn't carbon. So this is the Alchemy Eros, titanium frame, um, <coughs> Durace 11 speed mechanical, uh, Durace uh, stages crank, Envy stem, Envy seat post, uh, set of Envy wheels which roll super sweet. Um, but yeah, just crazy light um, and just real easy to climb on. It just rolls. I mean, it's a combo of the wheels, but the frame just gives you that power transfer. My only criticism of this whole bike is this thing here. The Alchemy, I, mean, I guess it must be the Alchemy symbol. It reminds me of like a Club Med symbol. Carbon saddle, the Skylight SLR. Envy seat post, Alchemy seat clamp, Durace, but just look at the welds, man. Look at the welds. Envy stem, Envy bars, Durace shifters. Pretty sweet, bruh. I'll take it. It rides fast like a carbon bike, um, but it just gives you that little bit more comfort, and certainly it climbs. That seated climbing, that is the big difference. Don't ask me why, I don't know why, but seated climbing on this is a different world. Did you even ride titanium, brah? be an awesome bike but it doesn't give you fitness for this kind of money i want fitness too so now i've got 40 odd k on this little whip it give you a few impressions you know 40k that's yeah you know, it's nearly an hour's riding so get a good view of what it's like it's hard to fault it really i guess at this end of the market these wheels if you're being super critical they're not the lightest wheels you can get Finishing kit is lovely. I'm loving the uh, Envy stuff. It's just so neat. It's a little bit nod dog. It's all in all, it's 
pretty solid really. I would change the DI2, that's probably a personal preference. But it's freaking gold mate, it's gold! Well it's titanium actually. Oh dad joke. Now maybe I'll change that too. I quite like the paint job but part of the, part of the joy of a titanium bike is, is that titanium look. You know, I do like this frame, I like the colours actually. There's something about that crisp, brushed titanium look that just uh, just works for me, bruh. Works for me. Might have to confess today to some sock doping. Would you even sock dope, bruh? So let's talk. What kind of bike is this? Oh, tears. Basically, if you're a road racer, this is, this is the dream machine. Road racing, or basically, if you just like riding bikes really fast. So it's pretty simple really. Get your checkbook out, make sure it's a big checkbook, and you're sorted. Like I say, I'll have DI2, I'll have a crank-based power meter, get one of those rotors or quarks. Not loving the stages, but uh, it's mustard. Okay, we are at zero. Okay, let's go. Tips of scale, as say. Oh, that is off the charts. 7 kgs, bruh. 